For my C2L conference project, I have chosen to focus on the website Slack.com. Slack.com is a virtual whiteboard that can be accessed by both teachers and students. Slack.com is easy to navigate and does not overwhelm its users with extravagant designs or pictures. Instead, Slack.com keeps everything simple and efficient. I chose Slack.com for one reason, connection. It can connect students, but most importantly, it can connect teachers from all around their own district, their own country, and most importantly, their classroom. All you need is an email address. So let's begin. Signing up for Slack.com is very easy. All you need to do is uh, sign up with your email and or Facebook, but I recommend your email because I'm not sure if you're going to be friends with all of your students on Facebook. Plus, with an email, you can send all of your students invitations at once. Once you've created your account, you have to create what Slack.com calls a workspace. You as a teacher have the power to customize your workspace, and you are the only one who can invite any other person into your workspace. On the right-hand side of your workspace all of the are all the tabs you need to navigate the site. At the top, you have all the options for your own profile page, right here. You can put a profile picture, you can edit your status, I'm working hard, you can be in a meeting, commuting, out sick, vacationing, or you can customize your own like I did. You can also customize your profile, you can invite members, you can manage current members, you can customize your workspace settings, which is about is it private or public, and you can come customize it in many other ways. The second tab is labeled All Threads. This is where all of the threads from the entire page are located. This gives you quick access to every conversation that has been said within the workspace, giving you an easy way to find any previous conversations that you might need to find immediately. Under the All Threads tab, you have Channels. Channels are specific conversation threads that you, as a teacher, create yourself. The two channels Slack.com provides you with are general and random. General is for very broad announcements such as meetings or assignments that maybe have a later date. Random are for uh, banter and gossip if you want your students to talk freely amongst themselves with any ideas they have, then this is where they would go. You can also create your own, just like I created my own C2L work, uh, work space channel. Here you can type anything you want and students can talk about their own ideas and anything like that. Under the channels you have direct message. This is where you can personally message a member of the workspace. As a teacher you can use this to send feedback or return grades. So you can start a conversation and find anyone you want. I can send a direct message to Austin telling him hey or asking him how he's doing. Under that you have invite people, which is where you would go to send an email or you can send an invite link. And under that you have apps. You are able to browse all the different apps that Slack.com provides. You can use these apps as secondary, secondary resources for your workspace. You can install any of these to your workspace and your students are able to freely use them whenever they want. I believe Slack.com can be used in the classroom very uh, efficiently if done right. Teachers can connect with other teachers in countries and or you can as an educator you can use it to break up your classes and have your students connect in an easy manageable site. Thank you.